This video contains spoilers for everything within the Danganronpa universe except for V3. If you haven't played V3, then you're safe, but be aware that everything else is fair game. Enjoy the video. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. In this world, if you lose your focus even for a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That is the kind of world my dream lives in. Hello and welcome to Danganronpa 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the Danganronpa world. And today, we are going to be casting our gaze upon the ultimate pop sensation, Sayaka Maizono. Sayaka Maizono is a delightfully cheerful young lady who was rather unfortunately caught up in the Killing School Life game hosted at Hope's Peak Academy. Although Sayaka is far from your typical smiley schoolgirl and is in fact exceptionally driven and committed to her career as an idol. Sayaka initially chose to go down this path due to being raised by a single father who had to spend exceptionally long hours at work. As a result, Sayaka took solace in a live idol show on TV, gaining great strength and inspiration from the girls she saw and thus became determined to become an idol herself in order to impart that strength onto others. Unfortunately, this decision would not lead to a pure and simple outcome as apparently Sayaka had to do many, many bad things and made a lot of sacrifices to eventually achieve her dream of becoming an idol. Exactly what these bad things and sacrifices were are currently unknown for the most part, but it is heavily implied that the word bad may be a bit of an understatement. However, to her credit, she did achieve her dream and became the leader of an unnamed idol group consisting of five members. As is standard with idol culture, Sayaka then developed a rather large male following, but Sayaka in particular held a more universal appeal and became equally as popular with female fans. Eventually, the group began touring and performing all across Japan, but it wouldn't be long before they exploded to worldwide fame, which earned the attention of Hope Speak Academy, who went on to offer Sayaka a place in the 70th class with the title of the ultimate pop sensation. Furthermore, Sayaka, unlike most students in her class, even had a history with a fellow classmate being Makoto Naegi, as they had gone to the same middle school and who was accepted as the ultimate lucky student. Although it should be noted that while the two were aware of each other, they never actually had a discussion with one another throughout their time in middle school. But Sayaka was very intrigued by Makoto because she had once seen him nurse an injured crane back to health after it had become stuck in the school pool. Having been touched by this act, Sayaka did feel the desire to want to get to know Makoto better. However, that desire was but one of the many sacrifices she made in favor of pursuing her career as an idol. But that would all change at Hope's Peak and Sayaka would spend a year getting to know Makoto as well as the rest of the 78th class. That is until the tragedy struck the world and Sayaka's class were entombed within Hope's Peak Academy for their own safety, as well as for the future of the world. And here, after a further year, their memories would be wiped by the ultimate despair Junko Enoshima, and Sayaka would be forced to participate in the Killing School Life Killing Game. With Sayaka's memories of her time at Hope's Peak gone, she was immediately drawn to Makoto, whom she still remembered from middle school. And while it seemed like the two were on their way to developing a strong bond, Sayaka would fall victim to the very first of Monokuma's motives designed to inspire action during the killing game. This motive was known as killing among loved ones, whereby each student was given a DVD showing people important to each of them, in Sayaka's case being her idol group and implying that they were in imminent danger. Having been greatly affected by this motive, Sayaka immediately began devising a plan to escape the killing game by plotting to murder fellow student Leon Kawata and framing her middle school acquaintance Makoto for his death. Ideally, resulting in Sayaka's victory during the inevitable class trial. And you know, all of this sounds wonderful in theory, but things didn't uh, quite go to plan. And during her attempted murder of Leon, he turned the tables on Sayaka, managing to stab her in the stomach and leaving her to die in Makoto's bathroom. However, with the last of her strength, Sayaka managed to write Leon's name in blood, appearing as the number 11037. And following the class trial which found Leon guilty of Sayaka's murder, Kyoko Kirigiri hypothesized that this was Sayaka's way of trying to make amends to Makoto after attempting to frame him for murder. A theory that Makoto would take to heart as the number 11037 would go on to be used as the password for the abandoned Hope's Peak Academy building on Jabberwock Island, with Makoto citing the reason for this password being that it was the number which a certain person had once left behind in order to save him from trouble. Some more fun facts about Sayaka Maizono. Gone but not forgotten, Sayaka would make an appearance in the anime series Danganronpa 3 as a hallucination conjured by Makoto, along with the rest of the deceased 78th class members. And still not done there, Sayaka also appeared as an illusion conjured by Nagito Kamaida during the Super Danganronpa 2.5 OVA. Rather tragically, it's implied that Sayaka and Leon held a mutual attraction for each other, with Leon considering her to be a pure-hearted girl and very much his type. A notion which Sayaka takes attentive note of with a smile and a blush. On the flip side, it can also be theorized that this attraction is what drove Sayaka to target Leon in the first place, believing that he would be easier to kill as a result. The second idea is something that is made much clearer in the manga adaptation of Trigger Happy Havoc. However, it does need to be stated that this is not canon and therefore should not be taken as fact. At one stage, a younger sister of Sayaka was planned to be included in Ultra Despair Girls, 
similar to how many of the family members of the other 78th class students had major roles in the game. However, this idea was eventually scrapped due to it being inconsistent with Saika's backstory as presented in Trigger Happy Havoc. And finally, a truly useless fact about underwear, during her school years, Saika's undergarments of choice were pink panties accompanied by a lacy bow. But that pretty much does it for Sayaka Maizono. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the new World Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if Patreon isn't quite your style, then please do leave this video a like, share, or subscribe because it also helps support the channel an incredible amount. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next Danganronpa 101.